that time again for Wreck It Wednesday. Let's see what we can get into today with this crazy bizarre book that I'm having so much fun with and I hope you add a new color to this page every day for a month okay let's begin this I will do this for a month today is the 8th do it till September 8th all right our first color is gonna be blue Color. There's our first color. Blue. Turn the book into a shoe. All right. Here we go. Gonna have a wreck it journal boot. Gonna be so snazzy. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this journal into a shoe. I got some shoelaces. Not quite sure how I'm gonna do this, but it's gonna be a pretty shoe, that's for sure. All right, let's uh, hmm, let's figure this out here. Okay, let's see. Can I open it to that page? Hmm, I done lost the page down. <clears throat> or maybe I should just... Yeah! Yeah, little boy, kid. Uh, well, I definitely want to walk on it. Let me find that page. Of course, I lose the page. Where is it? There it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, let's let's wrap it around the foot. <clears throat> I'm a cobbler now. Mmm, cobbler. This is gonna be such a pretty shoe. I should tie it here. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Sorry, I'll get the view of my my side fat and my arm. <coughs> what are you doing in there, kid? <coughs> Kids and dogs eating cookies. Yeah, Eat cookies. Kai won't you like see the bag of cookies? Kai won't eat me alone. We're, we're, we're trying to wreck it here, kid. Right. Wreck it? Wrecking it. It said to turn the journal into a shoe. I don't know if this is going to stay on. Let's see. Tell me when it's ready. I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Look at my wreck it journal shoe. Let's let's walk around with my let me get the camera right here. Got my sh my wreck it shoe. Let's walk in the living room. Yeah, I wish I had two of these and then I wouldn't feel so odd. It's staying on. It said turn the book into a shoe. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking like a cripple or something. No offense to cripples. Let's walk outside with it. Wait, let me let me secure it a little bit better. <laughs> oh my mercy. It's tearing it. It's wrecking it. We're wrecking it. Okay. Let's go out the door. Okay. I had to secure it a little bit better. Here we go. Walking outside, and of course. It is about to rain again. Hear the rumbling? I don't know. Nene's like, what are you doing? Why do you have a book tied to your foot? Because this is what I do. We're wrecking it. We're wrecking it. Let's go walk out in the grass. I'm having to like hobble because I feel like it's going to fall off. But it's tied on there. 
Here we go with my new shoe. Sure, I should go out in this new shoe. It's the new style, record style, record style, rascal. My camera's a little blurry. Focus. Focus. Now my camera's wrecked. It really is blurry, isn't it? Let me see. Let me hold it out here, see if it'll focus. It said not today. Okay, let me stop it and then redo there it. There we go. It is focusing now. Bam. Let's go out here and let me show you my, uh, <laughs> good thing I don't have neighbors like right there. It's like a truck place. They're all gone for the day, I think. But, you know, they've seen me doing some crazy things over here. They're like, what is wrong with that lady? Why she got a book on her foot? Look at the mushrooms. Wreck it journal shoe. Boom, boom. Yeah, these mushrooms doubled tripled in size over the last few days they're probably poisonous i mean i have no idea um but i think they're cool so i don't even want to like tear them down i mean maybe they'll make you high i don't know <laughs> maybe that's what's wrong with me there we have it we turned it into a shoe into a shoe rescue funny little story um like me keeping these mushrooms in my yard okay me and john this is how and really i think it was more so me than him but on our porch which is up there that i just came down from okay i like to keep like a little herb garden not the kind of herb garden y'all are thinking about <laughs> May, well no <laughs> like i love rosemary and i love uh basil and I love what else do I have up there sage and all kinds of little things like that I love to cook with that stuff well there was this beautiful vine that came up and it had a beautiful white flower on it like I like these mushrooms out here I just think the natural stuff like that is so pretty like I like the weeds that come up in the garden I think those are cool I don't even want to pick them out and other people are trying to get rid of them I keep them well I've learned my lesson that beautiful vine came up and it was very small at first and I was like no just let it grow look at that beautiful flower it's so pretty I like it because I like the vines sometimes and they grow up over the railing well after a while it got really big it grew fast so John went out there when he was gonna mow and he pulled it out with his bare hands pulled it all up got it all out of there and you know scratching his face and stuff and it was poison ivy <laughs> We, for Nerners, were growing poison ivy on a porch with their kid, the dogs. Roscoe peed on it a million times. He's a boy dog. He pees on everything. He come out there and peeing on that ivy. I'm surprised his little wiener did not fall off. He was red around himself at that time, and I didn't know not. I did not know. Did not, didn't know not not. <laughs> yeah. I did not know why he was red around his little wainer. Now I know. And John, of course, pulled it out with his bare hands. And it was poison ivy. I never touched it not once, but I thought it was so pretty because that white flower. And it was a beautiful vine. Yeah. So there's some poison ivy out there, guys. That's so pretty. But it's got a punch. It's bad. That's like a sermon right there of like things that appear to be beautiful can be really bad it's like the wolf in sheep clothing i'm telling you we were growing it so that's probably what's happening here with these wild mushrooms they're probably poisonous mushrooms and i'm keeping them here because i think they're so cool yeah and someone's gonna get hurt roscoe's wiener is gonna pay the price like before <sighs> yeah that's my story it has nothing to do with wrecking it i still got the um the shoe on there I want to show y'all my car, the back of my car. Y'all never get to see my vehicle. I'm not going to show you my license tag. It might turn me in. No. <laughs> I love to put stickers on the back of my car. Yeah, I'm one of those. So if you're ever in North Carolina and you see this Mazda Tribute with all these bumper stickers on here. I love this one. This is the tree, the peace frogs. This used to say back off. I mustache you to back off. <laughs> this is for Boone, North Carolina. 
Lake Norman, which is not that far from us. Peace, love, and Lake Norman. Gatlinburg. Oh, yeah. I've, I had, I had showed some of these in my haul. Of course, the Grateful Dead teddy bears. Yes. I have them all over the place. But Jesus Christ, he's the real thing. And then my life is good and be joyful. Yes. I love my little my bumper stickers. I think still over here. I never even look at the back of my car sometimes. Yep, I still got my Piggly Wiggly. He used to be tie-dyed. He's been on there a long time. And then, of course, Smokey the Bear. He says, keep it green. Only you can prevent a forest fire. Okay, let's uh wrap up this wreck it. I'm out here just showing you my car, talking about mushrooms, getting all off sidetracked, talking about my wine, my wine. Oh gosh. Talking about my wine, acting like I'm drinking wine. I am not. I do not drink wine. I do not like it. <laughs> talking about my vine that was poison ivy. Got poor little Roscoe's wiener. Where you at, boy? I'm so sorry. Got his wiener and got John in the eye. He had poison ivy in his eyeballs. He went to the doctor and they were like, where did you get this poison ivy? He's like, poison ivy? He's like, oh no, we were growing it on our back porch like dum-dums. Yeah, not too bright. Here's something I need to start collecting for it. Collect fruit stickers here. Stickers you find on bought fruit, like bananas. I got some apples here, but they don't. They don't have any stickers. Of course they don't. Okay, so I'm going to have to be on the lookout for that. And start collecting them. Right here. Alright, last page we're going to do today. This is like a little craft project. I kind of like it. Alright, make a paper chain. Kind of like the old school um, decorations or like on a Christmas tree. We're going to use these. All right, so I'm going to cut these out and make a little paper chain. I'm kind of excited about that. never made such a little one. I've done the big ones, but it's been a long time since I made one of these. I would wish I had had my stapler handy. That would have been easier, but it's somewhere I don't want to dig for it. So I'll just use tape. But isn't this so, so cute? Part of my record journal. I guess I just stick it back in there. It's going to get all smashed though. <clears throat> 
I'm not sure. I might just hang it somewhere else. Another page done. Wasn't that fun? Another page done. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Concludes this week's Wrecked Wednesday. Boy, that was fun, wasn't it? So much fun. I love this book. I'm telling you, if you don't have one, you gotta go get one. Endless fun. Endless fun. And I think when this one runs out, I'm gonna try to get another one. We're gonna keep this thing going. Oh, yes. And we still got lots more to go. Lots more. Yay, so much fun. Wrecking it. All right, as always, be blessed and have a great day. Wednesday night or wherever time zone you're in the rest of this Wednesday. And I will see you guys on Friday. Bye-bye, everybody.